My name is Tise Paul. I was born in Mekaki Refugee Camp. It is located between the Thai border and the Burmese border. My parents came from Burma and they resettled in the Besla Refugee Camp in 1998. I was born then and that time many people would go around, say, carousel and do many activities. I lived there until I was four years old. In September 2002, the camp experienced in diversity Flesh it was rainy and thundery. I heard many people screaming and shouting for help because of the flash flood in the camp. Many people lost their life and we had to move to another camp. The new camp was called Melau Camp. When I was young, I didn't know the reason why my parents had to come to a refugee camp and I didn't question when I was born in a refugee camp either. I always thought that I was free living in a refugee camp and I could also do a lot of this as well as I was getting older, life was getting harder for me and I learned why refugee camp exist and I started to question my life. I learned that my parents didn't have any choice but to live in a refugee camp and that I couldn't do anything with my life. It was my luck that I was born and raised in a place that way. In 2013, my parents decided to come to the United States because we heard that many other Korean people have started to move to the state and they were living a better life. My parents also wanted the same thing and they wanted to be free again, to get a job, to live in a house that we didn't have to fix it every year or rebuild it every time it rained. The most important reason why my parents wanted to come to the United States was because they wanted me and my siblings to have a chance to get a better education. Be before we came to the United States, there was a law process we have to complete. We have to do multiple interview, tests, and screening. It took one year or more before we came to the United States. And right before we were about to leave, my sister fell ill, so we had to wait extra time for her recover. After my sister recovered, my family had to do some learning about the United States and uh, we came here in November 2014. I came to St. Paul, Minnesota with my whole family. We have some other relatives here that came before us, but there are still a lot of other relatives and friends who we have to leave behind. The reason one night all of my relatives came to the U.S. is because some of them still live in Burma and others are afraid of new life in a new place. Some of them stay behind with their parents because their parents are old and they say that even if they come to the United States, they can no longer work and if they don't speak the language, they will only bother their kids. There are many other family like that who don't want to leave the refugee camp. When my family and I came to the U.S., we only bought our clothing and what they say. We didn't have any money or other valuable to bring. When I left the camp, I was very sad because I had to leave behind my friends and relatives. And I didn't know when I was seeing them again. My family and I were also nervous because we didn't know that our future would be like and resettling in a new country where you don't speak the language is very scary. Now my life is much better than I was in the cab. And when I first came to Sepo, I speak English now and I have a dream and goals in life which I know I can achieve if I work hard.